Hi guys, today I wanted to film the tag 10 little secrets. Um, I've seen a couple of people do it and I love watching it so I thought why not film it myself. So let's jump straight into it and, sorry don't mind me I'm looking in my mirror, and let's get started. Alright, question number one, what product makes you feel a million bucks? Well that's easy. Foundation. Not necessarily this one, but just foundation. Covers up my acne and evens out my skin tone and everything like that. Let me know what you think of this lighting. I'm trying filming in a different room, but I just filmed another video and I'm noticing my lumps and bumps are standing out more. And I don't like that at all because I'm so self-conscious of it. But what do you do? Look, I've got them all everywhere. If you know of a miracle product to get rid of acne that you think I haven't tried, because I've tried everything, pretty much, let me know in the comments below, please, because I'm at my wit's end with it now. I feel like nothing I do is ever going to get rid of it. Okay, so yeah, foundation is what makes me feel like a million bucks. What is your skincare secret or a pass down tip? I don't really have any because obviously I haven't figured out how to fix my skin. But if I have any tip, it's make sure you moisturise. I make sure I moisturise every day. This is just one I'm using at the moment. It's called Inoxia Thirsty Skin. Um, yeah, just make sure you moisturise every day because you think you're doing... Well, for people with acne, obviously, I can't speak for people who don't. But you think you're doing the right thing by drying out your skin and drying out the oil and everything like that. But the only thing is when you dry out your skin, your body thinks it needs to make more oil. So keep it moisturised. Um, number three, what is your hair care secret? Now this is probably going to be no surprise because everybody loves this stuff. But I swear by it and it's the macadamia healing oil treatment. This stuff is the bomb. I put it in my hair after I shower, when I wash my hair, when I style my hair, everything. It works for everything and I love it. I don't know how much it is overseas but here in Australia it's $45 like that's really expensive I have managed to find a place up in Brisbane so I have to drive an hour to get this stuff but they sell it for 30 bucks but I drive all that way because it's like my nail supplier and I get nail stuff there and I get I normally buy two me and my mum one when I got there but that is my hair care secret love that stuff you have to try it. if you haven't tried it believe the hype it's awesome okay what, sorry, number four, what is your biggest diet rule? Don't diet. Change your eating habits. Don't go on some crash diet to lose a whole bunch of weight because it's not going to work. Um, you'll last a day or two. Like, I know me, if I try to give up carbs, by the end of the first day, I'm craving it so bad that I go over the top. So don't go on a diet, per se change your eating habits you know just be aware of the calories that are in what you're eating because you'll actually be really surprised like I used to calorie count I don't anymore hence the tuck shop lady arms I have lost quite a bit of weight but yeah be aware of what you're eating be aware of the calorie content that's the biggest thing I learned when I was calorie counting it's you can go to KFC in one meal and eat your entire day's worth of calories in one meal without even realising you're doing it. Um, so yeah, be aware of your calories and don't diet change your eating habits. Um, number... I didn't even number these one, do you? Number five, any workout tips find something you love doing like when I was trying to lose weight everyone was like oh go to the gym you know do workout videos <laughs> or anything like that and I just couldn't do it like the gym to me is so boring it's not funny and workout videos well I just feel like a fool standing in front of the TV jumping around like a lunatic but what I found I did like is I love walking along the water like the water's five minutes not even that down the road from me it takes me five minutes to get down there and get out the car and get the pram out the car I loved walking along the water especially when the sun's shining and yeah that was my thing I just loved walking so find the thing you love doing some people are obsessed with the gym and love going there so if that's what you like to do do that 
if you want to do workout videos, do workout videos or just find what you love. I absolutely loved walking. That was my thing. Number six, what perfume is your secret weapon? I wouldn't really say it's a secret weapon, but the perfume I absolutely love is Lady Million. Absolutely love this perfume and it smells so good. Obviously I don't wear it every day because it's so expensive. But look, it's nearly half gone and I hardly ever wear this. But it's my favourite. So I'd call it my secret weapon because if I'm going out and I want to impress or, you know, I'm having a down day and I want to lift myself up, this is what I put on. It's not what I, would, I wear every day, but it's what I, it's my secret weapon to make me feel good and more confident. Um, show us an item of clothing that turns heads. I don't have any. I'm a real casuals girl. Like, I love singlets and tank tops and track pants and stuff like that. Literally, like, I love Lorna Jane. That's what I wear most of the time. I just, sneakers, everything like that. I don't dress up. I really don't. I don't know why. See, if I try and... Ugh, if I try and buy like a nice dress or um, a mini skirt or something like that and try to dress up, I feel really, really uncomfortable. So I've just given up trying and I stick to what I know and what I'm comfortable with and that's casual, comfortable, like I dress a lot better than I used to. Like I used to wear the baggies, added ass pants and loosest biggest jumpers like a men's extra large now you know i wear fitted comfortable clothes like lorna jane and stuff so yeah i'm sorry i don't have something to give you for that one um what is your most treasured piece of jewelry can i include something that doesn't that i don't actually own my most treasured piece of jewelry is my grandma's engagement ring which i will be getting when i get married so i don't actually have it to show you but I absolutely love, I can't wait, I'm so excited to get my grandma's wedding ring because it's two rings joined together and it's her original wedding band and then her 50th wedding anniversary wedding band attached to it. And unfortunately they both lived for their 50th wedding anniversary and they both passed away before their 51st, which is sad. Um, who is your style crush? I can't honestly say I have one because no famous people dress casually or comfortably. They all look really good, but none of them are... I don't take any inspiration from any of them. Oh, my eyeliner is running. Um, I don't take inspiration from anybody because I just wear what I'm comfortable with. I don't follow fashion and I don't follow trend. I'm a mum of two, I need to be comfortable, I need to be able to move around and function comfortably, not in high heels. Tell us something you, we don't know about you. Oh gosh, I didn't think of this one. Um, shivers. I seriously didn't even think about this one. Oh man. This is going to be really lame, but it's the only thing I can think of. There's a nine year age gap between my kids. <coughs> my oldest is just about to turn ten, and my youngest just turned one. I didn't plan on it being that way. I wanted my kids close together, but unfortunately it didn't happen like that. So yeah, there's a nine year age gap between my kids. That's really lame, but that's all I can come up with. I should have read those questions beforehand and planned that one. Sorry about that. Alright, that was all 10 questions, or secrets, should I say. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please leave any comments below if you have any questions about anything. Leave them below. Um, please subscribe, it is free. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye.